It was once the bed of a great western sea. Now all that remains is the salt, the sand, and the wind. A century ago, pioneers crossed these flats at a wagon's pace. From here, they could see the very curvature of the earth and the untouched frontier ahead. Today, modern pioneers still seek to cross this vast, hard bed of salt. But their frontier is a record, and to break it here is their dream. For this, is Bonneville. They come to Bonneville with a cargo of speed, a vehicle that might someday travel faster than any car before. Machines ease from the wagon bed until its custom wheels have touched the ancient salt. They've named it the Blue Flame. 38 feet of streamlined power. A land rocket poised on a time swept stage. In the desert night, the men share one thought, the record, over 600 miles per hour. Can the blue flame do it? A question first asked six years before in a Midwest laboratory. To break the land speed record would take a bold revolutionary step. Find a safe, efficient space age fuel for a rocket car. The answer, natural gas the same clean energy used in the home, in liquid form, what they call LNG. The long, arduous road to Bonneville begins. A prototype dragster outdoes everything on wheels. In a wind tunnel, a brass model proves the blue flame could run on ground at supersonic speed. The body and engine take shape. Then the power and shape together for the first time. The static test. Will the blue flame fire? And now, six years from conception, Bonneville. Out on the course, the driver, Gary Gabalich. When I was a little kid, I drew a picture of an actual rocket and put wheels on it, and uh, I thought it, at that time it was a neat thing. The course is miles of hard-packed salt, but only one of them will count. This one, the famous fifth, the flying mile. Top speed will be reached before the car even gets there. I walked for about an hour and a half down towards Floating Mountain and uh, just looked at uh, looked for low spots or high spots or uh, any things I might have to encounter. The timers string their silent web of wires and the crew is with the music and the machine they love. It's a traveling sound, a driving, moving rhythm, a beat to work by. Next, the fuel. Practical to handle, 
this common natural energy will soon be put to uncommon use, a dream fuel for daring dreams. The tires are inflated with 350 pounds of air. Finally, the blue flame is set for its first trial run. And run it does. to come, 400 miles per hour. Five fifty. But there are disappointments. The compressor fails. A damaged fuel line and it's back for a week. In all, 29 days will be spent right here Now it looks like we're going to have to wait possibly 10 days uh, to like, get a new catalyst pack and put it in a rocket engine and uh, come back out here again. And then, and then we're going to have to hold, hope that the weather holds. We're going to do it. It may not be this week. It may not be this year. But I, I guarantee you we're going to get that record. morning of the 39th day. The spectators arrive, for it might finally be the day, that is, if the wind dies down. The people in the press have many questions. Gary, how would you compare the start uh, to the takeoff of an airplane? Oh, well, this, this is much, uh, much more exaggerated. The takeoff on, a, on the blue flame is much more exaggerated than, uh, let's say, for instance, taking off in a a commercial air flight from here to L.A. or something like this. Uh, it's much different. It's kind of like uh, the feeling or the thrill you get going down the first dip on a roller coaster. Only you're in there for uh, for 22 seconds and the, it, it increases as you go faster. It's, uh, it's just the ultimate feeling, I think. Pete Farnsworth, Dick Keller, They've been waiting for this day a long while. There will be no run until this man gives his consent. Joe Petrilli, chief timer for USAC. Now the wind is under the maximum six miles per hour. It could be a go. To officially break the record, the car must make two runs at an average speed both ways of 607 miles per hour. calculate the time. Attention, the time on that run, 617 and two one hundredths miles per hour. They're halfway home. 60 minutes to refuel, inspect, and turn the car around. Yep.
This is the cruise race. They beat it by eight minutes. And so, it all comes down to this. Years of hard work and the exhaustive efforts of people in science, industry, and sport. Everything defined in what will happen in the next few moments of time. Crew rushes to the car, alone on the course. That run, 627.287 miles an hour. Ladies and gentlemen, the world's land speed record has been broken. When I was a little kid, I drew a picture of a of an actual rocket and put wheels on it, and now here it is, it's, uh, today it's a reality. To Bonneville, those pioneers of speed, there 